So can we actually have a pro league in England or in the UK? It's a topic that I sort of put a twist on the ping pong show's latest video about the National League shakeup. Uh, this is following on from a proposal draft drawn by Matthew Porter, um, and in the show they discuss various aspects of that. Uh, I've gone through and written an article about that, uh, so please do check that out on my website. It'll be linked in the description. For those who don't know me, um, my lovely face is on screen. I'm Mark Tanner, table tennis coach and player from Kentsham here in the UK. Uh, and I just want to make this video today really to um, deep dive and uh, put my own view on it. So hopefully you enjoy that. I have uh, cocked up the audio a little bit because of the wind um, during this video. So please bear with me. And uh, yeah, get into the video now. So I'll put a few instant thoughts down on camera to see could we actually have a professional league here in England. Um, it sounds um, very ambitious, sounds almost a bit too far-fetched, but the plan that Matt came up with was to have, uh, he compared it to like the Belgium and French leagues, whereby they have a club uh, up in a, like a premier division, like, like in football, and then they have other teams stemming from that club all the way down uh, the systems. Because in England at the moment, the system from club level uh, upwards is, uh, well to say the least, a little bit confusing. Um, I only found out about sort of Grand Prix, which are on sort of six to eight times a year, whatever tables in England can afford um, to run. They sort of come on uh, around different cities around the UK. I found out about that back in sort of 2013 uh, when I sort of delved deeper into it. Um, yeah, I've been playing table tennis since I was about 10 years old and never knew what existed above the Bath and District Premier Table Tennis League, um, which sounds crazy. Um, but as a hobby player or, you know, local enthusiast. It's not something you look towards if your playing level means that you can't compete or afford to uh, with the GPs. Uh, the GPs that I have attended, though, as a spectator or as a volunteer when they've been local to me, uh, have been great, really good events. Uh, but it still uh, is a little bit hard to, you know, sort of contemplate or comprehend what was above the Bath Leagues. Um, there's also a National League, which I only personally found out about 18 months ago. Uh, when they start to do more work on their social media. Their own sort of Twitter account and uh, a few clips on Facebook and YouTube, etc. And then Table Tennis Daily obviously um, blew it up, um, if I'm being honest, with their their team in there and their coverage is, you know, as I've, as, you know, as I've said before, is like second to none. I mean, Dan Ives is, you know, the content king, uh, not only of Bristol and UK, but of, uh, you know, the whole, the whole world of Table Tennis, really. Um, a lot of people can learn from that. Um, so like I say, you know, above sort of the local league level and above is a mystery. So what this uh, proposed one Matt has um, sort of said to do is to have, uh, like football, a Premier League, sort of a couple of leagues below that. Um, then you sound sort of county league levels, a bit more regional, a bit like the conference, conference north and south, that sort of thing in football. Um, and then below that you still have your local leagues. The one thing I'd change about that proposal would be for local league players to be able um, below their premier divisions so like in Bath you've got three leagues you've got Prem one and two similarly Bristol you've got Prem and about seven divisions under there I think it is six or seven um, so what I'm proposing is underneath that premier level anything under there if a player wants to play in multiple leagues you know as, as a hobbyist as a social player if you like they then they can you know have you know be part of a couple of teams but as soon as there's a cutoff point which is the premier division of the local leagues as soon as you get into a premier division that's when it starts to become more like this club level as as matt has been you know talking about and i think that's a really good idea because i was quite surprised with one of the guys in my team uh, key center b uh, he said the reason he's a young lad reason that he's leaving uh, the sport of table tennis altogether surprised me was there was a lack of training so it wasn't run he's just playing football so it wasn't run like a football club um, and I was going to do a whole sort of um, video proposal thing on that, but you know this proposal that Matt's done sort of almost touched on that really. Um, so you know having a club mentality, almost like a football club mentality, means that you'd have club nights, uh, social nights, um, you know everything for every player. Um, I think it's very exciting, it's very ambitious. My other sort of testing point, there's been a lot of you know backlash to you know this one club, one one player rule. Uh, but again, I think the, the most ambitious bit of it is actually setting up that Premier League of Table Tennis, you know, England. Actually having, you know, your ass, if you like your Arsenal's, your Man U's, your Man City's, Chelsea's, all the way down to Norwich, etc. I mean, having what Matt proposes up in, uh, I think it's Uckland, Bishop Uckland, I'm not sure. Um, 
where his club is. Um, you know, it sounds like they've got their own, they own their own venue. They they can make money through a couple of different means, and I think that's the exciting and the most ambitious bit of this whole project is to find different venues around the country. So you know, you'd imagine Bristol would would be quite strong. You've got Brantford, you've got you know Brighton, you've got a few a few places like that. Even you know Cardiff um, got a great community club there, but. It's finding those bloody bikes. So I imagine like Bristol would be all right, you know, like Grantham, Brighton, you know, sort of Cardiff, like places like this, if you're having a UK league, that is. Um, you know, places like that would be fine because they may own their own facilities and, you know, be able to implement, um, you know, start to pay their players and, you know, really be exciting. I think that's the the biggest challenge. Like, for instance, somewhere like Bath, um, you know, it's commented that, you know, people, uh, what was it, Danny Lawrence, I think it was, commented that people don't like playing in little church uh, halls in front of you know three old men who just come out of a retirement home and it's, it's kind of like a valid point because you know for me personally i like playing where people watch me my pet hate is when you see your teammates on the side and they're just on their phone like that not even looking at the bloody game you know not even paying attention so i get the point of not wanting to play in front of you know anyone um and you know i think it'd be difficult for say bath in particular to have um what matters frozen here you know straight off the bat that sort of prem team i can't see the teams like oldfield or you know bath bath ford um you know teams like this actually being able to maintain their own venue and start to kick it on really you know up from there but i think that's a quite an exciting bit and i think it will the other key takeaway if it does go ahead and does try and come come through is that there'll be more job opportunities within table tennis um you know for your your content creators your you know catering staff um you know secretaries all stuff like this suddenly if as soon as a club becomes uh, you, you know almost semi-pro you turn the knob a little bit um you know you start to create roles and jobs and opportunities for people and you know especially in this climate in this day and age um if you can turn a passion um you know into making money that that's only a good thing but yeah, they were just my thoughts, really, um, that I wanted to get down on video and um, be a bit more personal um, to you guys. I mean, I don't know what, what you guys think. You know, have a read of the proposal. Um, I've, like I say, I've got the article on my on my website there. I haven't included the full PowerPoint, but Matt, I'm sure, will be more than happy to um, to share that with you if needs be. And, you know, have, have a read um, and see, and have a watch of the ping-pong show and just see what you think. Let's carry on the conversation here in video form, be it written form, you know, be it just a private message, just so we start to collect some information, um, give it back to Matt or whoever's going to push this project forward, and, you know, have a conversation then hopefully with Table Tennis England and say, look, the more time we talk about table tennis um, in an open forum like this, um, the better, because we, we are a minority sport, like it or lump it. You know, we haven't got professional players in, here in England. It's great to hear that more of the England team are training in England here at the moment. Obviously, they can't move around in this current climate, but... I was particularly impressed with uh, Gavin Evans um, actually commenting on a few, couple of social media posts um, that I've seen, you know, and um, how he's come across and conducted himself so far as a national team coach. It looks like he's quite an expansive and forward-thinking individual. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see how he treats the domestic game and, you know, how he can help and encourage, you know, those people who aren't quite in the England team at the moment and how we can push on and get a more competitive squad overall. But, you know, me, myself, looking at club level, I think the proposal is absolutely fantastic, just what we need to see. I don't have any problem with just playing for one team. And yeah, just uh, just see if we can get something moving forward with that. But yeah, like I say, let me know your thoughts. You know, feel free to subscribe, don't have to, but I know a lot of um, people just like flicking through YouTube and other media like that, and that's absolutely fine. But you know, if you are passionate about table tennis and have a few opinions, then please do uh, get in touch with me, um, get in touch with Matt, Ping Pong Show, anybody else. And let's start creating this buzz around table tennis at the moment. Uh, all of this content everywhere, um, I feel in lockdown, is doing really, really well. So yeah, thanks very much. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.